Good morning, Alabama. Eric Jackson here. Get a bit of a late start. It's 5.50. Sunrise was in 10 minutes ago. I'm paddling out into the gray abyss. Well, you know how I said it was foggy? <laughs> I thought I was going straight. I took a wrong turn. That's cast out into slop. <laughs> I got a fish on the line, but not a bad one. Look at that. Oh, you pretty. You pretty. It caught it sideways. Mm -hmm. Good job. Did you just hear what I just heard? <laughs> it's like the tug of war game where the first on the other end lets go. Hi, I'm video camera recording. Video camera. Wow. Come on. Lily pads, come on. How cool is that? It's a frog in kind of a day. I like throwing my frogs. I like throwing my frogs. I like doing it when it's sunny. I like doing it in the fog. I like doing it in the grass. I like doing it in the weeds. I like. <laughs> Doing it in the lilies with my lily white ass. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. I know where there's fish. Oh, there's a big fish right there. Okay, I'm in friggin' loaded. Watch this, watch. I may have scared him, but ready, watch. <laughs> I may have scared it, but I caught him anyway. <laughs> Come on, there you go. Healthy. <laughs> I, what am I laughing at? I'm laughing because this is just like too easy. Should I retie? Probably. Am I gonna? Yeah, let's retie. 50 pound braid. I got my line cutters right here. I've pulled in so many frogs and it's been in their mouth. What do you know about frogs' mouths? Well, what does it do to your thumb? Well, my thumb is pretty much destroyed right now. And my line, I guarantee, isn't as good as new. And when I catch my 24, 25 incher, I don't know if they're here or not. I would like to be able to horse that bad boy all the way to the boat and not be scared. Oh, come on. I may have to put my reading glasses on here. There it goes. Green line with green slime in the background. 
can't see. <laughs> okay. Watch this. Oh, I already caught one there. I just caught one there. The didn't quite get it in the same spot. Otherwise, eh. oh, it's a, it's a fighter. I can't tell how much of this is lilies. Oh, come on. There it comes. Around the lilies. I pulled the lily out. I don't think it's that big. I don't even know if I still have it. Oh, oh my god. I do. It's a pretty big mouth, actually. That's not a bad fish. <laughs> You're bigger than I thought. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe you would just tend to be big little lily pads. You're fat. You're not that long, but you are fat. Look at that. Nineteen inches. You can't really help it. But thank you for playing. You are healthy. You're a good fighter. I'm very impressed. Frog fishing is amazing. And catching fish on frogs. Unbelievably fun. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Perfectly ate it. Perfectly ate it right side up. This frog right there is going. Ah, thanks, man. Right now, this fish is going. Thank you. That frog wouldn't let me go. The frog would not let me go. Ah, here's a man. That fish loves me so much. He loves me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that cool? I think that's cool. Want to see that again? Now that fish, so skinny. He's like, I finally got one. I got one. I'm gonna eat like a king. Then he's like, this frog sucks. I don't think I gained any weight. I went put in all that effort. There's a lot of effort I just put in. But I got a cool story to tell. Hmm, what is that story? The story about how I ate a frog that was stronger than any bass alive and it drug me through the water, through the hydrilla and the weeds. I was getting a face full of weeds and it was just pulling me like super frog. Nothing I could do about it. And all of a sudden, I was rescued. One of them human beings with this really cool bass boat called Apex Watercraft here. That was the fanciest fishing boat I ever saw. Carbon fiber and stuff. Anyway, I digress. This is what the frog is saying. That human being took that nasty frog out of my mouth. I got video of it too, GoPro and put me back in the water where I belong. So thank you, Mr. Fisherman. You are the best. <laughs>